We're broadcasting live from the Thunderdome in Suniapolis, Forsk, Minnesota, home of the Purple Mutant Eaters. You can hear their anthem being played down on the field right now. Of course, written by the artist formerly known as Pimp, Purple Brain, one of the all-time classics. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's gonna have it all. The Motor City Maniacs battle the Purple Mutant Eaters. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> no, you Welcome to another game day here on the MFL Network. Grim Blitzrow along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan. How you doing? Great city, isn't it, Bricks? Fantastic city. My motel even has free color TV. Oh, that's and nice. an ice machine that works. Wow. That was police tape blocking the bathroom because of the photographers in there. But other than that, no complaints. They, they give you free jelly at breakfast, too. Sounds like a real winner. <laughs> And it's first and ten. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. Oh, that's a relief, because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Oh, uh, you're telling me. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And it's first and ten. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Second down and nine. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. First down and seven. And he picks up about six on the play. Second down and two. You can't keep a good mutant down. Third and two. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Is that right, Grim? That penalty makes no sense. Hey, something ain't kosher here, and I'm not talking about the corned beef with extra mayo. Third down, and the offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Third down, and never going to happen. He picks up eight yards on that pass. Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on It Looks Like the Defense here that are shrinking pills. Uh, that's it. And it's good. You know, Grim, in this league, 
for murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good. Huh? I mean, can't we all just... Not this shit again. Brex, I'm stopping it right there. He sits up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. First and ten. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And that'll be second down and four. Third down and nine. sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose! Unless you're in a sleeping contest. And it's first and ten. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! Hey, man. That. That's right, you can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. And here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It, it means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. Oh, if I was that QB, I'd be pissed. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. First down, so now they have to punt. Nice punt. Should move them back. Now. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Man, what a hit that was. And this game is up for grabs. And it's first and ten. The way to move the chains that's good for a first down this game is all about momentum and killing 
And it's first and ten. And that pass play is good for eight yards. Second down and two. second there. Third and two. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. The defender's one feet just kicked in. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Yeah. Yo, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you people out. That's right. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. It's a brutal hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Whoa. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. Or die. Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Bloody footprints to the new line. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. Gets the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. The greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> First and two. Ooh, not much there, maybe a yard. And that'll bring up second and one. $1,000 to a local children's hospital. Okay. What a player. Well, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, you're talking about points. Two point plays are high risk, high reward, and it just didn't pay off. And now they're both screwed and stupid. What? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. You understand me?
When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. <laughs> Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. The warning sounds only two minutes left in the first half. Second down and five. from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. Oh, Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. And it's first and ten. in for six yards. Good mitts on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. And the offense quickly calls their second time out. That's how you do it. Do what? And that'll be second down and four. And that's a catch for three yards. The defense calls their first time out to save some clock. I save clocks too, Grim. My wife hates them. They take up the whole garage. Wait, what? You're married? Uh, it's complicated. And that's two timeouts gone for the defense. But they've really got to get the ball back to their offense. But the offense is like 30 balls over there on the sideline just waiting for them. Why don't they just use them? Let's move on. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. <laughs> and it's first and ten. You know what they say, sometimes the best offense... The 30. The 20. Here comes the defense. He's at the 10. He scores! He earned those points on the heels of an epic run. Nah, don't call things epic, Grim. Kids aren't gonna think you're cool no matter what you do. Junior? I don't want kids to think I'm cool. I, ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? And they come to the line trying to tie this up with two points. And if they don't, things are going to get weird and desperate on their side. The offense screwed up that play, Bricks. That never had a chance, Grim. Never had a chance. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Fred. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. <laughs> a 
It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. Third quarter about to begin here, and these guys are locked in a nearly dead heat. I was locked in a dead heat under the covers last night when Bricks started farting like a 4th of July fireworks finale. Read it, I tell you. <laughs> Yo, seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. The kicker died on that play. Man, that's terrible. Now what do they do? Well, another player will assume the kicking role for the remainder of the game. The coach is praying he won't need a long field goal to win this one. Somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all you can eat buffets? They're not as literal as you'd think. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. A pickup of about three on that play. Second down and seven. Four. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed, it was a chip wearing a wig. First and ten. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. to an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? 
straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. First and long, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> First down and forever. Oh, with the punishing hit. Second down in a mile. Roid Rage, how do you like your brains? Scrambled or fried? One Roid Rage breakfast, but a lot of guys talk about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the ground crew cleaning him up now. Hot potato gets him every time. Third down and long. the way you do it. Eat up chunks of yards with pinpoint passing. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And that punter gets paid way too much to kick like that. Nice catch, and it turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy of three returns. Oh, he just got crushed. <laughs> And it's first and ten. He rifled that one in there, and they come up with ten yards on the play. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. That's the end of the third quarter. This game is going to come down to the wire. I love that show. Third down and eight. a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Oh, mama! He just 
just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Second down and five. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! They need to call an attack ref dirty trick and stop this or they're going to lose. Not like they need any help with that. These guys are doing fine by themselves. Second down, and the offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. It appears that the last ref was calling his stockbroker during the huddle, and that tipped him off. It looks like he won't be buying that boat anytime soon, huh? Second down, and ain't gonna happen, partner. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. You've got to avoid those spikes, or you'll be a mutant pincushion. I was a chubby kid, Grim. My parents sent me to fat camp. My big brother told me as soon as he get there, stab the first kid you see, and no one will mess with you. So I get off the bus at the camp, some kid runs up to me and stabs me. I once saw a kid to make a kick like this with his extra leg. He used it like a golf club. That wasn't a leg, you moron. That was tripod. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy, and he gets three points for it. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And that'll be second down and four. Third down and six. Scrambler. And it's first and ten. This is your brain, and this is your brain on berserker drugs. Is that, is that guy's brain getting crushed out of Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. I've seen this guy run through a brick wall. He loves pain. First down. And it's first and ten. It's a six-yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, nice hit! Third down and six. QB passes it for maybe a yard. They've got to open up the offense here, Bricks. I'd be impressed if he splits the uprights from this far away, Bricks. If he doesn't, they're going to split his skull wide open. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score.
Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Oh, it's a sticky ball, dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a... Oh, what a sack there. I heard this guy likes to play with soft balls. He's going to play with crushed balls from here on out. Hey, man, I was hitting on Kano now. You know what happened? Second down and a lot. If you don't hear it coming, it'll knock you right on your ass. It's called a son. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. And it's first and ten. way to keep the chains moving that was beautiful they used their second time out but they are running out of time a uh, bit pessimistic don't you think so Grim? it's more about building tension bricks that's all we do at this point and drink this bourbon come on give me that uh. and then a first down from a great catch was it a catch though Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. And it's first and ten. Oh, great throw! Great catch! And then put six points on the board! The defense could do anything! from driving the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. wants to speed things up so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I took it as a compliment. Hey, no game to me. I kill. Come on, I got to get on the cup. Get on out, you know? Second down, and we smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's perfect. the quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. And that's it. That's the last time out. It's score or die from here out. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. Straight through the uprights.
Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. Oh, and that kick to his highlight reel. That was perfect. And since he's a kicker, that brings him up to a one-hole highlight. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get... The Purple Mutant Eaters are nothing but blue today, taking a home loss. Uh, does that mean they'll eat a different color? Am I safe to ask them for autographs, Grim? What color eats what, Grim? Good teams find a way to win, and bad teams find a way to lose. Looks like they've got some work to do after this one-point loss. We've all got some work to do after this one. For example, your enunciation could have been a tad bad at Grim, and, and Junior, you can't swear all the time. I don't know what the fuck you're fucking talking about, you I'm fucking shithead. Speaking of shitheads, let's hear the MVP of today's game brag about the win. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.